We would be happy to have conversation with her, but she doesn't want to talk to us. So Alright, it's not for the purpose of debating that I want to talk to you, but I do want to talk to you about the truth because in Jesus Christ is salvation and there are many people who would lead people away from the truth following false doctrines and it's not so that you know we can see who's wittier or who is more established, but for the sake of the gospel that gives salvation that we might be in unity in our faith in him. And so what Jesus said was that by faith in him, that we would have the hope of eternal life, that our sins would be forgiven, and that we would be given his unfailing love and a new birth, which is to be born of God. No, you're not speaking. No, you're not speaking. No, okay. Hello, how are you? Are you a Christian? I've heard you speak so many times. I don't no, want to speak with you. I am, yes. Oh, thank you very much. Because you know why? Why? Aaron, have a conversation. Yeah. Why I ask you is this? Don't you put your hands? Just now, I was speaking to the American Christian over there, standing up. Yeah. And well, I don't know who you're speaking to. Okay. That one behind you. Okay. Now he's sitting down. Oh, he's not a Christian. He's not a Christian. No, he, he says he's a Christian, but he, he doesn't believe that Jesus is God. Yeah, he said he's a Christian, but you are right. He say that Jesus is not God. Yeah. Right, and so he's not a Christian. But 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 he's carrying the King James's version of the Bible, which is the Protestant Bible, and he says he believes in the protest in the King James's version of the Bible. Right, but he doesn't because in the King James Bible, Jesus in Revelation chapter one calls himself the Almighty, and we know that only God is the Almighty, and Jesus says, "I am the Almighty." So you believe that Jesus was God. Yes, he says so. And a lot of Muslims ask, because they don't know, yeah. well, where does Jesus say that? Mm -hmm. And the answer to that is in Revelation chapter 1, yeah. and it's from verse 8 to 10, Jesus says who he is. He says, I'm the first and the last, and I'm the beginning and the end, and he says, I am the Almighty. And we know that, we know that no one besides God is the Almighty. Yeah. You know, if you ask any Muslim who is God, they will say Allah. But when we ask Christian, like you're a Christian, you believe Jesus was God. Yes. And the American preacher behind you sitting there, he says, no, Jesus wasn't God. Well, he, he's not a Christian. There are a lot of people who will say false things, but that doesn't mean but, that but, they know that. But that preacher said, he's holding the Bible, the King James's version. He was standing up. He said, this is the book of God, the Bible. So right, but he distorts it. And this, there are a lot of people who do that. They'll say, oh, yeah, I believe this book, but then they don't believe what's written in it. And then they change what it says, and they say, oh, but I believe the book. But they don't. But, you know, he gave me verses from the Bible where, like, you know, Jesus, he prayed. Yeah? yeah. So even I gave him a verse from the Bible. I'll give you one as well. For example, in the Gospel according to John. Yes. Chapter 17, okay. verse 1. In the Bible it says, Jesus, he looked towards heaven and prayed. Absolutely. So, so if Jesus, I mean, so we Muslims believe in and so, and, Right, and you, you say... Okay, can I finish, then I'll let you. Sure. Thank you very much. So we Muslims, we believe in our Holy Quran, yes? Yes. And you're a Christian, you have to believe in the Bible, yes? Yes. So in the Bible, in the Gospel according to John, chapter 17, verse 1, where the, in the Bible it says, Jesus, he looked towards heaven and prayed. Yes. The question arises, if the Bible is true, and this verse, we say Jesus looked up towards heaven and prayed, if this verse is true, so that question arises, if Jesus was God, who did Jesus look up to and pray to? So I'll answer you. Yes. Okay, all right. So David was king of Israel, wasn't he? 
Okay. And so he wrote a psalm. Okay. And he said, my Lord said to my Lord, yes. and sit at my right hand until I put all your enemies under your feet as a footstool. Yes. And so the word that was used here is the word that's used to refer to God. Yeah. And so he said, my God said to my God, sit at my right hand until I put your enemies under your feet. Yeah. And we also read in, in other places with other prophets, the Lord speaking to the Lord and saying yeah. that the Lord sent him. Mm -hmm. So for example, in Ze uh, Zechariah, God says, Rejoice, daughter Zion, yeah. says the Lord, yeah. for the Lord will come and dwell among you. Yeah. And in that day many nations will come and be joined to you. Yeah. And in this way you will know that the Lord of hosts sent me to you. Mm. And so what he says is, it's me speaking, the Lord, mm. and by this sign you will know that the Lord of hosts yeah. sent me, the Lord, to you. Yeah. Yeah. And so this is how yeah. Yahweh continually speaks and represents himself. Yeah. And so, while Allah might not do that, Yahweh certainly does. So you said that Jesus is sitting at the right hand of God. The yes? Father, yes. Okay, so Jesus is sitting at the right hand of the Father, yes? Yes. So are you saying God Jesus is sitting at the right hand of God? The Father, yes, of Elohim. No, is the Father God? Yes. So are you saying... And the Son is also God. Hold on. So are you saying Jesus, who is God, is sitting at the right hand of God? Yes. So... And I can explain it say, to you if you want say, a real answer. Okay. We say, we Muslims believe there's only one God. Okay? Mm -hmm. Like in our Holy Quran, in Surah Al-Ikhlas, which is Surah chapter number 112, it begins with Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. It begins with Kul Ho Wallah Ho Ahad. Say Allah, He is one. So every Muslim believes that God Almighty Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is one. Now, as a Christian, do you believe that God is one? Yes, and I want, I want to answer you pre, uh, preemptively on this. So God is one. Okay, so when you have Adam and Eve being described as becoming one flesh, yeah. you know that it's two individuals, but their flesh has become one. So that's a unity, right? Yeah. Okay, so when we say God is one, we're saying we're, God is one in unity. And that's what it means, ikhad. And so it's not wahid, it's yeah. ikhad. Okay. And so what, it's not singular, yeah. it's the three persons of God are one person. Uh, in in unity, yes. uh, but three distinct so people. One, let me tell you, we Muslims believe one is always one. Okay, one is always one. One cannot be two. One cannot be three. One is always one. I want to ask you: Is one always one? Yes or no? Indeed. So one is always one. Yes. Indeed. Right. So now explain. You said Jesus is sitting at the right hand of God. Yes? So who is Jesus? He's not God. Jesus, according to your Quran, which isn't true, by the way, but no. is the Word of God, isn't he? It's the truth, yes. Right. So the Word of God was with God in the beginning and was God. That's what the Bible says. Okay. So wait, wait, let, me answer, let, let me answer you with the Bible because you're referencing the Bible. So yes. the book of John, which you cited in chapter 17, but John chapter 1 says, In the beginning was the Word, yes. and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So the Word... When you speak, that's your word, right? So the word is Jesus, yes? Yeah, Jesus, the word, became yeah. flesh. So the word Jesus was with God. And was God. Hold on, one at a time. So the word Jesus was with God. Yes, indeed. So Jesus was with God. Yes. So that means... And he was God. That's the fullness so, of the sentence. So it's saying, not two separate sentences. So, it's one sentence so, in the beginning of John okay. chapter 1. Yes. And so if you're asking what the yes. Bible teaches, I'm yes. answering you. Yes. And I understand that so, in Islam, yes. you say, well, Wahid, you know, you can't have three persons of the Godhead. And I understand that. Or but the Bible one. is very clear. And if you just, if you reject the Bible, then you reject the Bible. But to understand it, we it's very simple. The Bible. You do. You no. say it's been, okay, okay, okay. you say it's been okay. changed. Do you believe the Bible? Yes, absolutely. Let me give you a verse. Uh, I mean, let me tell you. 
You said. But what about the verse where Jesus says, "I am the Almighty"? Do you believe that? So you say you believe the Bible. So so Jesus in Revelation chapter one, verse eight to ten says, "I am the Almighty." Do you believe that Jesus is the Almighty? No, we believe. Then you don't believe the Bible. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me answer you. We believe Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is Almighty. And we believe Jesus, Isa al Islam, Jesus peace be upon him, he was a prophet, he was not Almighty. You are a Christian, you say Jesus was Almighty. Yet, yet now you tell me, did your Almighty God Jesus die on the cross? Yes. Oh. How can, how, how, if Jesus, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If Jesus is Almighty God, how can Almighty God Die! He said, "No one takes my life from me." So he died. I give my life willingly, and so God gave His life, okay, so that we would not have to die. And He picked His life back up. He said, "I have the authority to put my life down, and I have the authority to pick my life up." And that's what He said in fullness. Now you can reject that, and you can say He never said that, but then you don't believe the scriptures. So you don't believe the scriptures. You believe Quran, which came 600 years after the scriptures that give the account about Jesus' life. You can reject them. You can believe Quran. You can believe Muhammad. Okay, okay. But that doesn't mean that okay. you believe the truth. So you believe in the Bible, yes? Yes. So you said Jesus was God, yes? He is God. And you said Jesus died, yes? Yes. And you said Jesus was Almighty God. I yes? also say, and I said to you, oh, no. Jesus came.